Hey teachers, this is Brenda Kovich. I enjoy teaching with Google Sites and you can too. Today you'll be learning to create a Google Site with a header. Make sure you visit the blog post listed beneath the screen. It will give you the lowdown on 20 ways to revolutionize teaching with Google Sites. Later in the presentation, I'll show you how to create a custom header, so make sure you stick around till the end. Let's get started. First, go to your Google Apps, click, and then choose Drive. Now, I could go ahead and go to this new button and make my site right now, but I want to put it in a folder, and it will be here, my literature folder on answering questions. So I open that, and I find the files that I already have ready to go into the site. Okay, now I click on New, go down to More, and then Google Sites. It's as easy as that. I've created a site. Next, I'll give it a name and I'm going to call this one Answering Questions 4. Then I gave, give my page a title, Answering Questions. And I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I'm going to take a look at my types of headings that I can have. So if I click here on Heading Type, I'll see that I can do Title Only banner like what it was before, large banner, or cover. Let's go back to banner. Now, if I click on this arrow or here on the screen, either way, I'll come back to these options. Now I can change the image so that I don't, I'm not stuck with this grayscale background. If I click here, I see I could upload my own or select an image. Let's go there first. Google provides an, a variety of images that you can use uh, in your header and you could upload your own but with all of the resizing for different devices and also for different screen sizes I found that it's very difficult to uh, keep your your picture the way you want it so I sort of like sticking with something that that Google gives me or doing a solid let's try these clouds and see what happens what I think is cool is that Google Sites will change the color of your font so that it's best seen on whatever background you choose, no matter what it is. Okay, that's it. Before I show you how to customize your header, I'd like to remind you to like, share, and comment on this video. That way, more educators can learn to use Google Sites in their classroom. Today's tip is how to make a custom header. Since sites automatically resize, like I was talking about before, pictures are tricky. You can, however, make your own solid or patterned images to upload. I made mine with PowerPoint, then saved them as JPEGs. I kept them at the default size of 13.33 by 7.5, and it worked just fine. Let's go ahead and try that. So if I do change image, upload, and you'll see my colored backgrounds and I think I'll just do this eggshell right here and it goes in beautifully. Have a great day and stop back again to learn more about Google Sites in the classroom.